Academic Alliance in Dermatology is getting ready to host their annual Evening of Beauty. It's a great night, a great event. They're going to be discussing some of the top trends when it comes to um, cosmetic, maybe surgery, non-surgical uh, non uh, procedures as well. But we're getting a treat this morning. We have Heather Skull back because we're going to talk about some of the trends now, maybe give you a sneak peek of what we can find at the event. But so good to see you again, Heather. Too. Nice to see you too. So let's talk about when it comes to, um, you know, men and women, by the way. Yes. looking to kind of reduce their age again, maybe get rid of some of the fine lines, the wrinkles, the aging spots. There is a lot that can be done these days. Oh, there's way too many, more yeah. than you realize. <laughs> so the secrets, yes. Yeah. So some of the hot aesthetic trends right now actually are, and we may be showcasing them at our big mm -hmm. Evening of Beauty event, um, basically focusing on like profile, looking at your jawline, looking at your chin. So is all this in line? We want to have proportions. So the more mm -hmm. People are actually doing those areas. Some people are actually having the nasal augmentation, doing fillers in those areas too. There's also something called PRP that I understand is kind of a hot topic as well. What is that? Yes, PRP will actually be utilized like on the face after microneedling or after laser procedures. And we're using it for hair loss. So I've been injecting it into the scalp as well for men and women, so both. But some other great trends that we're seeing too are is using the halo laser. That's actually increased in popularity, mm -hmm. so that's for also an for anti-aging. And we've also done baby Botox that's become on the rise. So it's actually doing a little bit less than the average amount of units for Botox, but it still gives you, I mean, not that frozen look, but that fresh look. Ah, yes. well, it's so interesting because I, th I think it's probably uh, safe to say for people watching today and, and maybe people who have not talked about this before with, um, you know, in a dermatology mm -hmm. um, setting, how do you get people to feel comfortable about maybe some of these, certainly the non-surgical procedures, the success rates are just fantastic with them and they're easy in and out procedures. Right, actually it's surging, so more people are expressing interest in the minimally invasive, you know, non-surgical yeah. procedures. So, we know when people come in, and since we're dermatologists, we see patients, so we do medical anesthetics. So it's, sometimes it's a, you know, a gap or a bridgeway mm -hmm. to starting with the medical, and then patients become more comfortable, and they learn more about the aesthetic procedures, or they might just come in off the street for aesthetics. But it's important to realize that there's so much. I mean, we even have Sculptra, which we use for the face for anti-aging, to help with saggy knees, uh -huh. even for the chest. You get those lines, you know, from sleeping. So making people feel comfortable to actually mm -hmm. achieve their goals so they feel good in their skin. Perhaps they're being told that they're mm -hmm. always looking tired, but they don't feel it. So I always approach it very softly mm -hmm. and gently with people, making sure they feel comfortable and not overwhelmed. Well, and I, I would imagine, is that what a patient should maybe start out with? Like, hey, I'm just not, like I see a picture of myself yeah. and I feel like it's not like what I used to look, you know, five, right. 10 years ago. Is that maybe a kind of a good place to start the conversation? Because I think a lot of people may not know what be is going to be best for them. Yeah, it's good. Uh, not a lot of people bring in their pictures, mm -hmm. but sometimes I ask, you know, if they do a consult to bring in a picture of yourself that you, you know, where you felt comfortable yeah. in your skin. We want to exude confidence. So if it's not showing here and maybe it's in here, we want those to match. So I want people to feel good about themselves. And I feel like I leave mm -hmm. the, the door open and that make it a comfortable environment. No judgment. It's yeah. here to help you. One well, again, this is what this event is all about as well. So let's end with this. Get people yeah. The trick is go ahead, sign up. It makes it a lot easier for the night of if it you does. go ahead and let them know that you're coming. But what's the goal of this evening of beauty? So the goal is that we want to promote our huge annual event. It's the 14th annual evening of beauty here at Academic Alliance in Dermatology on November 7th. And we would love to showcase everything that we have to offer mm -hmm. from lasers, fillers, you sculpt. You can see some of the stuff done. see it being done. <laughs> I'm actually demonstrating a few things too. So, and my colleagues and our skincare companies are here. It's just fun. One Wine hors d'oeuvres, we also have raffles, so it's a wonderful event. Yeah. Most people can't wait. To I know, come. and you said no judging, you can get your questions answered. I know it's going to be another great night. Thank it you is. so much. It's oh, always such thanks. a pleasure to talk with you, Heather. We appreciate Same it. Same here, thank you. We'll put all the details on our website as well.